process of weaning baby off nipple shield can be a little tricky and it's not one size fits all. Because moms out there are shaped so differently, whether they have large breasts, small breasts, whether, you know, there's all the different shapes of breasts, there's different shapes of nipples, there's different sizes of nipples. Um, it's just so different. And not only that, babies are so different. Their mouth anatomy, the way they suckle, the way, way they eat, the way they prefer, which position they prefer. And not only that, um, their personalities come into it as well. Are they an easygoing baby that's going to go with the flow and accept change? Are they a baby that's very determined and very um, kind of like not okay with change and doesn't, they want things the way they want? Uh, so that all factors in. We try to provide as many tips as we can to overcome as many of the issues that come up during the process of using our nipple shield weaning kit, but obviously we're not gonna have 100% success with every single baby out there just because of the way of all the differences there are. Our nipple shields, the current version is specifically designed for, based off of 24 millimeter um, size nipple shields out there. So if moms out there are using 20 millimeter, they could still potentially make these work for them, um, but it might not be quite as successful as those who are using the 24 millimeter nipple shields. So the first step would be to start with our step one shield and you put it on just like you would a regular nipple shield. You kind of flip up the edges. It's hard to do um, single-handed, but you flip up the edges and then kind of roll it out over your breast. And you want the cutout section, if you can see here, to be where baby's nose is gonna be so that they can be pressed up against your skin and smell you and all of that wonderful stuff that comes with that access. And then you latch baby as you normally would to your existing nipple shield. And once baby gets used to using step one nipple shield, then you'll introduce them to the step two nipple shield in the same way. And then you can always use the step three nipple shield if you feel like you need to. Many moms by then feel like their baby is used enough to their regular nipple, they're able to not use the step three. But some moms do go all the way through all the steps and have had success that way. Some moms I'm gonna talk about only end up using the step one shield and end up not needing any other shield. And that's because their baby gets so frustrated with the step one shield. And let me tell you why and why it's a good thing and not a bad thing necessarily if baby gets frustrated. When a baby latches to a regular nipple shield, it holds its shape just like a bottle nipple does or just like your nipple would. It holds its shape and gives them that nipple shape to suck on. It sometimes collapses, it squishes in the baby's mouth and collapses down. So they're not given that nice, smooth, nipple-shaped surface to suck on. And they get frustrated with that. They're still able to get the milk, but it doesn't feel as good to their palate. It doesn't feel like what they were used to. And they get frustrated with that and they, they might unlatch and be like, I don't like that. And that's good. That's when you want to take this, put it down, and introduce baby to your natural breast, right there, ready to go. Because, and, and you might have to do that multiple times. Every time you present the nipple shield, you use this nipple shield, not a regular one. And then every time baby gets frustrated, you present your natural breast. And it's best if you pump in advance so that you're ready for to let down right away so that when baby latches to your natural breast, they get milk like that because you want them to see that the natural breast is the way to go. It's the way for them to get their milk fast. It's their way to, for them to be comfortable. And so creating the frustration around this shield can sometimes be a good thing. Obviously, you don't want baby to get so frustrated to the point where they're like crying uncontrollably, they're getting red in the face, any of that stuff. You don't you know, give yourself a break. It's okay to go back to the nipple shield you're currently using and feed them and satiate their hunger and get them comfortable. And then try again maybe when you switch breasts on the other breast 
or try again a few minutes into the feeding after they first get their hun hunger kind of under control or they're given, you know, they're not thirsty anymore, whatever the reason was for them wanting to feed. But help them realize that the comfort side of breastfeeding is gonna come from your natural nipple and not from the nipple shield.